It's going crazy and I want to show you a new note that I got in the mail last night. So you guys know that I recently did a video on the gypsy notes that I ordered and from Mexico, the five peso notes. And if you haven't seen that video, uh, stop watching this one real quick, pause it and go and watch that video because it'll bring you up to speed. I decided to order uh, the all of the notes in that particular series, all the different denominations, because they all have really neat designs, as you can see. So this is the un-peso note, uh, the one peso, and you can see in the background there's some more of that beautiful coloring. You get the reds, the greens, the blues, a little bit of orange, just like on the uh, five peso note. And then right smack dab in the middle, you have this beautiful, very well designed Mayan calendar. I mean, that the details in this is amazing. It looks like it wants to jump out at you on the page. This is a really, 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 really cool banknote. And you can see, of course, like the Gypsy Note, it was designed by the American Banknote Company. And this is a pretty modern note. You can 1970. You can pick this up for a few dollars online. And I want to actually show you guys something. So the last time I was in Mexico, it was in um, Matamoros, Mexico, which is a border town, which is sort of dangerous. It can be very dangerous uh, in Matamoros, especially if you go to the wrong places, that's for sure. And uh, you got to be very careful when you're going to any border town. But Matamoros is one of those border towns you've got to you do gotta be careful. You gotta use due diligence, you gotta use caution, and it's probably not a place I'll go back unless I'm in an armored car. And I'm sorry if any of you are from Mexico, let alone Matamoros. Um, I apologize that I may offend you, but it is just a, it seemed like a very dangerous place. Uh, we definitely, it was fun, it wasn't dangerous at first, but when people started shouting, gringo, gringo, uh, and uh, pointing to us, my, me and my group that we were in, um, and then lining up on the exit towards the American border, when you start walking that direction, there's just lines of beggars and uh, people looking at you and asking you for money. And it just makes you feel very uncomfortable. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, not all parts of Mexico are like that. There's some beautiful, very safe parts of Mexico, but you do have to be careful on the border towns. But I bought this while I was in Mexico last time, and it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, Mayan Indian and it's had a little bit of damage over the years you can see um, actually no there's nothing wrong with it here I think it's missing a little bit of a, a piece here but I bought this while I was in Mexico and uh, just a beautiful but it has the reason I'm showing you and it's got some chips that's that's my fault there just moving as much as I've moved. But look at all the, 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 the designs. I mean, just beautiful, intricate. This is hand carved and uh, very, very, very well done. But what I wanted to show you this for, what, what made me think of this is because this and this are a match. So this is actually the Mayan calendar here. And you can see on the banknote, very, very similar differences. You've got that, a little like, V or triangle, you got the same thing. You've got these little marks, um, those little marks. So it's pretty cool that uh, this banknote features uh, the Mayan calendar, and it's very accurate, evidently. I don't actually have a picture of it here to see um, what it actually looks like, but based on the fact that I have another duplicate right here and they both match, uh, that's pretty cool. On the back of this note, you see the uh, same type of design that you saw on the other one. It's a different color, and uh, I'm really not sure what's going on there, what that statue is referencing, or, um, but I imagine that that right there, that image has something to do with what's on the Liber Libertad, or Libertad coin, um, the bullion coin from Mexico, because it looks very similar to that, the angel. Um, but very, very, very cool note. And for a few bucks on eBay, definitely worth picking up to add to your currency collection. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to get up to, what is it, 350 subscribers? And I'm surprised I'm up, up to 320 about right now. So pretty freaking awesome. 
So again, hit that subscribe button and uh, I definitely would be very appreciative uh, to those that, of you that do. So thanks for watching. Adios.